Our next project requires a sinusoidal stake. Now, most of us, when we start making jewelry, can't afford this kind of stuff. There are, they are making Delrin ones these days that are pretty inexpensive. These are still fairly expensive. So I'm going to show you how to make one out of wood. Don't use your metal files for this. Uh, wood will dull your metal files. So make sure it's a wood file or a wood rasp. And uh, we'll, we'll do it. You, if you have a piece of hardwood scrap, great. Um, if not, it's not that expensive to buy a small piece. And uh, so we'll make our steak and then we'll make our bracelet. We're going to make our own farming steak. This is hardwood. You can use whatever hardwood you have. Uh, this is Chewart. You could use Jera or oak, mahogany. <clears throat> now, I'm just going to copy this curve because I have it. But truthfully, as long as They're progressively larger. Uh, it's fine. Now I'm just going to cut those out with my jeweler's saw. Uh, if if you have a band saw uh, or anything like that, use it. Um, I'm not a woodworker by profession. I, do, I like working with wood, but uh, half the time I don't know what I'm doing. So what we're going to do is cut this notch and then we're going to round the edges so that when, when we hammer, we can actually hammer to the side a bit. So this is 16 mil thick, uh, 5 8 inches in the old money, and 35 millimeters high. It can be anything, it's just that we want it small enough that a bangle will go around it uh, if you're into making bangles and we want it hard enough that it won't splinter when we hammer on it. So this is my rough cut and I'm just going to use uh, probably 120, 220 grit sandpaper on a round dowel and just form this this is 240 grade paper and I'm just going to wrap it tightly around the dowel. I'm not going to tape it or anything, I'll just hold it in my fingers. And you can see that that's going to form it fairly quickly. So keep turning it so that you have fresh sandpaper. Feel free to use whatever tools you have to make a nice smooth curve and by sanding it, it'll be nice and smooth. Take your time. Keep working until you get all of the marks out. Uh, you may as well make it nice because if it works, it's something that you'll use repeatedly. So when you have your steak finished, whichever part you're going to use, have it fairly close to the jaws. Um, if you're out here, chances are with all that leverage you're going to split this. So if we wanted to use one of these other notches, just shift that back. Sorry. Now, everybody and their brother is making these tapered uh, plastic hammers these days. You can get cheap ones, you can get expensive ones. Uh, get for the beginning, get a fairly cheap one, see if it's what you want to do. And like the other videos, you just hit right there on the metal and it will form that curve. So next time, we'll see about making a hammer. This is my, one of my little neighbors. Gorgeous, huh? the blue tongue lizard. <laughs>